Hi everyone. In today's lesson, we'll be taking a look at what is known as the trig circle. So in your notebook, please put today's subtitle, trig circle. A trig circle is a very specific type of circle with very important implications for trigonometry. A trig circle is a circle with its center located at the origin of the Cartesian plane and has a radius of one unit. In order to visually illustrate this special type of circle, please take a moment to pause the video and prepare a Cartesian plane with a circle nicely drawn where its center is located at the origin of the Cartesian plane. The fact that you drew the circle with its center located at the origin of the Cartesian plane already illustrates part of the definition of a trig circle. The other part of the definition, the circle having a radius of one unit, is also easy to show. It means that this line segment, representing the radius of the circle, measures one unit. It means that this line segment also measures one unit, because that's the radius also. It also means this line segment represents one unit, because that is the radius of the circle as well. And finally, it also means that this line segment also measures one unit, because that is the circle's radius. And this illustrates the second part of the definition, that the radius is equal to one unit for the trig circle. The fact that the trig circle always has a radius of one unit also has an important implication on the x and y intercepts of the circle. The implication is that the circle will intersect both axes at the following locations. 1 and 0, 0 and 1, negative 1 and 0, and 0 and negative 1. But perhaps the single most important consequence of the trig circle always possessing a radius measuring one unit occurs when you inscribe a right triangle inside the circle using any of the radii as its hypotenuse. The fact that the circle has its center located at the origin of the Cartesian plane helps us derive the dimensions of this right triangle very easily. For the horizontal side of the triangle, suppose that it starts at the origin, which is x equals to 0, and then it stops at any particular random x value along the x-axis. We will denote that as x. This leads us to conclude that the length of the horizontal side of this right triangle measures x units. For the vertical side of this triangle, suppose that that side begins at y equals to 0 and proceeds all the way to some random y value on the y axis. This will lead us to conclude that the measurement of that vertical side is y units. Using the Pythagorean theorem as it applies to right triangles allows us to conclude that for any right triangle inscribed inside the trig circle using the radius as its hypotenuse and keep in mind that this radius will always measure one unit, it holds true that the horizontal length of the triangle squared plus the vertical length of the triangle squared will always equal to 1. And this leads us to what is known as the equation of the trig circle. Because the trig circle is such a very special circle, the points on the Cartesian plane that lie directly on the circle are equally special. They are known as trig points. Trig points are points on the Cartesian plane that lie directly on the circle and that verify the trig circle's equation. Here's a quick example of how to verify if any given point on the Cartesian plane is in fact a trig point. First example is to verify if the point 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 
is in fact a trig point. So what we need to check is if you add the squared values of the x and y coordinates, will it equal to the radius of the trig circle, which is 1? And if you check your procedure very carefully, you will find that indeed the point 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 is in fact directly on the circle. So it's safe to say that the point 0 0.6, 0 0.8 is in fact known as a trig point. Let's try checking another point. For our next example, I would like to see if the point 0 0.9 and 0 0.1 is in fact a trig point. Proceeding carefully, you will find that the sum of the squared values of x and y equals to 0 0.82. This means that this point does not lie directly on the circle. We can say that not only is this point not a trig point, it's a point that's actually located inside the circle because 0 0.82 is shorter than the radius of 1. And that's all there is, ladies and gentlemen, to what is known as the trig circle.